Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. The S&P 500 was down 1.4% today, uh, caused by the CPI report that came out showing inflation. There's several different ways of looking at these reports. You know, One is, you know, how did it do versus last year at the same time, same month? How did it do month over month? So if you look at you know January versus December, that type of thing. And so the other way, of course, is just the top line, all the inflation uh, pieces in the basket. And then there's core where you take out food and energy. So uh, lots of different pieces to look at there. But in almost every case, the market was, uh, the CPI report was a little bit higher than the market was expecting. And so the market pulled back because of that. Uh, you know, basically what's happening, in my opinion, there's kind of this disconnect. The market is expecting these rate cuts to be happening fairly soon. And the economy is doing pretty well and it's creating some inflationary pressure. Although when you look at the CPI report, for example, when you look at uh, the core CPI, which would be the key piece year over year that the you know uh, Fed Reserve would be looking at if they were looking at CPI, they mostly look at the PCE index uh, for inflation information. But uh, that core piece CPI uh, year over year has been coming down fairly smoothly. Um, so I think the market is just trying to make these adjustments. And we talked about this before. The market is expecting six rate cuts at the beginning of this year. Uh, and, you know, the Fed had a dot plot came out at the end of the last year saying they're going to do three rate cuts. And so that's the disconnect. I think we're going to get these little, you know, interruptions into that. Uh, the Fed has been talking about, you know, really back end loading those, those rate cuts for the second half of the year. The market was expecting, you know, at one point, uh, 80 plus percent chance of a rate cut in March. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see, you know, the market being so far off here. Uh, and so there's some pullback. However, uh, we had a CPI report that came out last month. It was a little bit hotter than expected. Market pulled back. A couple of days later, we were right back at it again. So again, CPI report isn't as critical as the PCE report. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, and there's still just a lot of buying. You got a lot of momentum going upward in this particular market. Uh, and you know, overall, inflation is going to be difficult to get rid of. It's probably going to take longer than the market's expecting. Rates are probably going to stay up longer than Mark's expecting. That is going to cause some volatility. However, that volatility could still be in a slightly, at least upward direction uh, and as it, because of the buying power and the momentum that's been coming through here. However, do see inflation resurgence as one of the big threats. Uh, I don't really pay as much attention to CPI because it has too many weird things in the basket. Uh, PCE is a much better measure of uh, inflation. And that, if you look at that, it's been much more consistent uh, in what it's doing. So, uh, you know, nonetheless, we can kind of see the heat in the economy. We can see the job growth. We can see the consumer spending. Uh, it's not surprising to see that inflation isn't coming down, you know, on a really regular basis. Uh, but, uh, you know, so we'll have to watch for that and see how that plays out. So anyway, look forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow and we'll talk to you then. Thank you very much.